The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everybody. This is uh, Eric Seymour with the Weather Service, uh, taking a look at the uh, weekly briefing uh, for today. So, um, uh, going to get started. Uh, we're in pretty good shape this morning, weather-wise. Um, I started with the satellite image up here, so that you guys can kind of get an idea of where we are at the moment. Um, the storm system that kind of rolled through uh, this weekend brought a lot of the rain, really gusty winds, um, is now actually centered up uh, just kind of off the main coast over Nova Scotia. And it's continuing to head off to the uh, east, northeast, and be making its way up the, to, to the Canadian Maritimes today and tomorrow. Um, we should see winds can, uh, continue to slowly diminish during the day today. Um, so things should start to improve there. Um, got high pressure building in. You can see a, a pretty large swath of the uh, country without even any cloud cover across it this morning. And that's that area of high pressure. And it's going to provide us some really uh, nice weather over the next three days. Um, so things are looking, uh, looking uh, more positive uh, in that respect. Um, so we should start to see a warm up in temperatures as well. So um, let's dive in. We're going to take a look real quick at the kind of the forecast maps. And I'm starting... Um, with this looking at tomorrow, um, you can see the area of low pressure that's up near uh, Nova Scotia continues to head off to the northeast. We start to see a relaxing of the gradient as that large area of high pressure builds across the southeastern U.S. Um, so uh, no, no chances for rain tomorrow. And as we move out into Wednesday, you see there's really uh, no chance of rain there as well. Um, again, we'll see a, a warm up in temperatures and we'll take a look at that um, here in a moment as well. We can kind of see where those temperatures are going. Um, so we may actually take a run at uh, 80 degrees in a few places as we get later in the end of the week. Um, we just start to see a storm system on Thursday organizing across the uh, central portion of the country with a cold front uh, dropping down into Texas. And that system will head toward the east and kind of bring an end to our dry weather as we move into Friday um, and again into the weekend. So. Looks like we get a little bit of, uh, we get three really nice days coming up and then we get a little bit more unsettled as we get Friday um, into Saturday. And then again on Sunday, Sunday is another shot of uh, cooler air coming down into the upper Midwest. And as we look into next week a little bit, it looks like that's kind of going to set the stage for kind of um, back to some below normal temperature. So uh, we're going to jump over to the uh, briefing now and take a look at some of the, uh, some of the slides that just went out in the briefing. So there we go. So you can see from the uh, precipitation right now, um, looking at generally speaking, maybe about a half inch of rainfall. And that's all the Friday out into Sunday rainfall. Could be a little bit more. You notice to the south and west uh, across portions of the Ohio and Tennessee valleys and then down toward the Gulf Coast toward uh, northern Georgia. There's a lot more rain expected there. So um, maybe potentially as we get closer and we start to be able to fine tune the timing of the precip and, and things of that nature could potentially see a little bit more. But generally speaking right now, the average seven day precipitation for mid-March is about three quarters to maybe about eight tenths of an inch of rainfall. So um, even seeing a half inch of rainfall would actually be, you know, kind of a little bit below normal for this time of the year. So, um, you know, just to kind of keep, keep it in perspective um, in the amounts of rainfall there. All right, so looking at your temperatures um, for uh, the week, you can see right now high temperatures today generally in the you know, mid 50s to around 60 degrees generally across the area, but we do start to see a pretty good warm up as we go through the week. Um, temperatures getting up into the uh, 60s, maybe even some lower 70s uh, during the day tomorrow. And then as we head out into Wednesday, Thursday, and even into Friday, we start seeing temperatures pushing up into the upper 70s, potentially even maybe seeing a few 80 degree readings across the area. So it is gonna be fairly warm for this time of the year. Um, generally speaking, average temperatures are still right around 60. So we're going to be, you know, Thursday, Friday time frame, we're going to be looking at 15 to 20 degrees above normal for the temperature. So it's definitely going to be um, pretty warm across the area. And then your chances of rain, you see really ramping up on the day Saturday. Um, so uh, I think some of the timing on this is still a little bit in question. Um, wouldn't be surprised to see more of that rain chances coming in on Friday. This may be um, in our forecast, we may be a little bit, a um, little bit slow bringing the precipitation in based on some of the new guidance that we're seeing. So, um, you know, don't count out not seeing rain on Friday. It may be later in the day, but um, don't count out not seeing any rain on Friday. All right, so getting over to the marine side, it's kind of give us an idea on the winds right now across the area. Um, generally, you can see from 
you know, looking at kind of the gale force type or uh, excuse me, the uh, small craft type gusts, you know, we got high potential that across the area, most locations across the bay and then up onto the Del Marva where we still have a wind advisory in effect this morning. Um, seeing, still seeing a lot of wind gusts in the, you know, 30, 30 knot range, 35 knot range across the, uh, across the waters, you know, a little bit less on land, but generally speaking, you know, still seeing those type of gusts. Once we start getting up higher into the higher, definitely into the gale force gusts, those are limited to over the water. Um, and as we start seeing anything above that, you know, getting up to the storm level, um, not seeing anything of those conditions right now. Did have some fairly good gusts last night overnight as we got a pretty good surge of wind that came through as that uh, area of low pressure was deepening up across uh, New England. Um, but those winds are really starting to come down and diminish. And I think by the time we get to mid-afternoon today, most of the gales will be uh, kind of being dropped back uh, more toward uh, small craft conditions and the wind advisory up over the Del Marva will be uh, um, also coming down as well as conditions, you know, drop back more to maybe 25 to 30 mile an hour type gusts this afternoon and then gradually diminishing during the overnight hours. Um, looks like right now as we get out to um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, winds really drop off. We get down in the, you know, you know, five to 10 mile an hour range over land and five to 10 knots, maybe a little bit higher um, early in the day on Tuesday over the waters, but generally speaking, um, should be fairly benign conditions as we get to Tuesday into Thursday as that area of high pressure builds in. All right, so you can see kind of where the threat, marine threat is really it's today and then really gradually diminishing as we get out through the week, Joe. Um, just kind of some limited chances. As we get out toward Friday, uh, we do as that front comes in, you know, should see things pick back up a little bit. Um, but generally speaking, fairly benign conditions, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I'm gonna jump ahead through uh, this slide here. Um, looking at the river flooding, that's kind of the last thing I wanted to touch on today. Um, we do have still have some lingering river flooding on portions of the uh, in the Shawan Basin. So uh, the Nottaway, the Blackwater, um, still seeing some minor flood conditions there. Um, if we look at Sebral, you can see Sebral right now actually has it's dropping off, but there should be another little bit of surge of water that's coming downstream still that hasn't quite reached there. Um, that's kind of moving through Stony Creek now. So that should um, kind of, you know, get the water level to kind of flatten out, you know, not really drop, maybe even kind of come back up just a little bit, start to rise just a little bit um, until we get out to Wednesday. And then we'll see it come, really come back down. Uh, the Blackwater um, above Franklin right now in Burdette is getting down close to flood stage. But if you look in town at the gauge that's in town, the gauge that's in town is still above flood. So we're going to hold on to that flood warning for a few more hours. Um, to try to let that, you know, skip the water level coming back down, especially in town as well. So you're probably looking, you know, seeing that uh, flood warning exists probably for another six, maybe eight hours as we go through today until we kind of get some of that, a little bit more of that water to move downstream and get through um, through the town there. So um, most of your impacts at this point with these moderate flood levels are generally speaking, uh, a lot of your roadways that are along the rivers, things like that, that normally flood. Um, that, you know, that they end up coming out and kind of closing roads for a day or two. Um, you know, those that's going to continue. That's going to persist for a few more days. Um, you know, really try to, you know, advise folks, you know, obey the road signs. If the road's marked as closed, let's try to keep people from driving through there, things of that nature. Um, you know, because that's where we're going to run into problems here as people start trying to drive through some of these flooded roadways. Um, you know, they put themselves at risk and they also, if we have to go get them, they're putting, you know, the the emergency responders at risk as well. So let's really try to kind of get that message out there, especially in those areas to, you know, not drive through those flooded roadways. So um, that's kind of, you know, kind of the takeaway left from, uh, from the river flooding. All right, so looking ahead to next week, just to kind of, you know, this week looks pretty good. Weekend looks a little bit unsettled. Um, looking ahead to next week, um, right now, you know, we're looking above normal this week. Should see a pretty good warm up. It's gonna feel a lot like spring. Um, next week, right now, forecast is not quite so much. Looks like we're going to see another little bit of cool, cooler air coming back into the area to knock temperatures back down. And again, if we're looking below normal, you know, highs, generally speaking, are around 60 this time of the year, maybe low 60s by next week. So, I mean, you know, we're probably looking at highs dropping back in, you know, into, into the 50s. Um, it's kind of a kind of just kind of a good guesstimate for next week. Chances of rain right now, it looks like, you know, we do have a, you know, a little bit better chance for above normal precipitation. So, you know, for that, you know, eight to 14 day period, you know, we know right now somewhere between three quarters, eight tenths of an inch is about average rainfall. 
So if we're above normal, you know, we're probably looking, you know, maybe, you know, maybe pushing up around an inch of rain for that seven day period. So, um, you know, that'll be something we'll be keeping an eye on. But again, it's just kind of a, a you know, general look ahead for that March 18th to 24th week. Um, so uh, that's kind of where we're, where, where things look at the moment. So, but right now, you know, looking for this week, you know, we're going to be dealing with the gusty winds diminishing as the low moves away from the area uh, today. So again, that wind advisory that's in effect will be coming down um, most likely this afternoon. I think it's in effect until two o'clock. So um, that should be coming down as the winds continue to drop off. You know, looking for really nice weather the next three, four days um, as that area of high pressure slides over the southeastern U.S. We get into a little bit of a southerly, warm southerly flow. Temperatures really bumping up um, into the 70s. It's going to feel a lot like spring. And then um, last thing is, you know, we're going to be dealing with this minor river flooding still in the Shawan Basin for the next couple of days. Um, you know, Blackwater really today and tonight. Um, the Nottaway at Seabrook lingering probably into midweek before it comes down. It takes a long time to get the water. Um, because the land's pretty flat down there. It's a long time to get water to go through that basin um, at the lower end down there. So um, expect that flooding to continue um, for a couple of days. And again, when dealing with the marine weather, we got the winds today, you got the gale warnings up and things should gradually begin to uh, decrease. Um, this afternoon, waves beginning to come down and then it looks like, you know, Tuesday through the rest of the week, things look pretty good on the marine side. So um, that's, uh, that's everything I have in the, uh, for the briefing this morning. Um, and, uh, that's, uh, that'll be it for today. If uh, you guys have any questions, please, um, don't hesitate to reach out to the office. Let us know where we can help you guys. Um, other than that, have a great week and we will see you all, um, next Monday.